I mean, this is Detroit. It shouldn't be a help-yourself pop-up street allotment for organic vegan peace hippies, when it could be a pulsating playground for the petrol head. And it is whining Dodge Challenger Demon. Hammond has an erection. This car is tuned by Hennessy. They've taken a standard Camaro and they've given it a thousand horsepower. Jesus Christ. Power. Jesus, you can't even steer it. It's, it's, it's idiotic, honestly. And yea, though I walk in the shadow of the Valley of Death, I will fear no evil. Because I am the exorcist. I just can't get over James May is the exorcist. <laughs> Nobody intelligent admits that they like muscle cars, but secretly, deep down, everybody does. Chaps, did you know mine only comes with one seat as standard? Really? What? As standard, you get one seat in a demon. You can opt to have the others put back in, and it costs you a dollar. Which seat do they put in as standard? <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is, here, when the lights go green, down, what's the course of a mile? Just beyond the church? Yeah, something like that. Perfect. What if the police come? Oh, well, he won't. He's in Beverly Hills. I've seen the movie. <laughs> Angry. Don't think he's ever done a donut. No. In his life. No. We are about to witness James D. May losing his virginity. Popping his donut cherry. It took him a little while, but eventually he got the hang of it. What's my score? Why don't we just go? Come on, James, we've got to go. Yep, moving on. What was it? No, oh, I've wiped it. <laughs> no, you haven't. Oh, it was 12. Come on, what was... Why have I got this on my face? What was it? It was 128, so just 2.8 more than me. So more? Yes. yes. Hold that. Why? Please just hold that. Oh, I hate the victory dance. I hate the victory dance. Good, right, let's move on. How much is your car? How much? 98, something like that. 98,000 pounds? Yes. 40,000. Yeah, but mine's better, so it's more expensive. 40,000. Faster and louder. 720 horsepower, 40,000 pounds. Am I the only person here who understands muscle cars? <laughs> That's a ridiculous <laughs> thing to say. Just because he's become a vegetarian doesn't mean that absolutely everybody has to be one. Don't be a moron. Well, I can't get out. He's parked in the way, haven't it? <laughs> I think the very concept of incongruity was defined in that film in Detroit by James May, the slowest moving man in history, driving around in a car called The Exorcist. Yeah, it just doesn't work, does it? James May is The Exorcist. No, I mean, if he's going to have a car, it should be called The Florist. Yeah. Or <laughs> The Organist. Simple change to that. The Unionist. Nice. Right, so what I thought we'd do is we'd name all of the corners and all of the straights after various musicians who were from Detroit. So, for example, put that there, and then this would be Alice Cooper Corner. A yeah, nice touch. And then I've got all the faces. I've got Glenn Fry from the Eagles, Jack White, Madonna, Aretha Franklin, Bob Seger, Ted Nugent. What's that stick for? Oh, that's, um, that's Iggy Pop. Oh, yeah, it's oh. like he's here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know how to put this to you, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah. We'll have a vote, I think. <laughs> Who here would like to see the celebrity segment? <laughs> uh, uh, there's one over there. <laughs> and who'd like to see the drag race? Yeah! Does that mean they're not coming on, then? Oh, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> very much so, James.